As you guys know, Danny Burke and I have been infiltrating a cult for three weeks. We got kicked out right before we could complete our final mission, which was hopefully going to shut this place down once and for all. We've been back with different legal loopholes, and every time they just call the cops on us, and it's kind of turned into this huge just legal mumbo jumbo of like, who knows what's actually going on. Sort of a loss for words myself to be completely honest. So instead of going back to the community in California, we decided it would be best to infiltrate a new community in Colorado where they've never seen us before. And so if you guys are thinking, oh, well, they're obviously gonna know who you guys are. Like they're probably saying, hey, look out for Reckless Ben and look out for Danny. But that's why we're not going in as Reckless Ben or Danny. We're entering as completely fake characters with entirely new names. Hi. I'm Papa H. So Danny's playing a character called Papa H. And Papa H is pretty much your model citizen. He stands up for women and gay rights. Plus, he donates to a charity that helps stop abusive parenting. Next is me. I'm Bob. My character Bob is going to be racist, anti-Semitic, pretty much just a terrible person. The experiment is going to be we're both going to join at the same time and see which character this cult likes more. So make your guesses now. Pick me. Or you can pick me. Finally, we have Lydia. We thought it'd be pretty funny to give her a boy's name. Hi, I'm Logan. Anyway, she's just walking in as herself. That'll be good enough for her. For credibility to our backstories, we photoshopped fake TikTok accounts for all three of us. Look at my janky ass fake Photoshop. Bob Marley. Once we landed in Colorado, we hitchhiked to 12 tribes. There's no cars, guys. Yeah, these guys also just live in the straight middle of nowhere. The cult's right there. Should we just enter from... Dude, yeah, Ben, I'm following right you. Like, I'm too nervous right now. Well, should we send a guy? We're just showing up with our bags and just hoping they accept us in. Can we just go in? Should we? Yeah. Where's everybody? Hi, okay. right, how's it going? Alright, where's Ben? I was so nervous walking in here that I completely forgot that we were playing characters and I just told this guy my real name. Hi, where's Ben? That was a bad slip up for me. Ben, you had one job. My name's Bob. <laughs> they probably knew that, like, look out for a Ben. He just did a double take. You go, hi, I'm Ben, and he goes, what's your name again? Uh... Is that what you said your name is? Well, the entire mission's ruined. So we literally just turned around and went home. Nah, just kidding. We didn't actually go home. But yeah, this is not good though. I just made the biggest mistake ever. Hi, uh, where's Ben? But it's okay, because now I just need the biggest recovery. Uh, is that what you said your name is? Uh, that's like my middle name. Everyone calls me uh, um, uh, Bob, I guess. But um, eh, decent recovery. Hey, where y'all coming from? You got like backpack or? Uh, We're kind of just hitchhiking around right now, yeah. but yeah. uh, and then. No? No, I just met these guys. Yeah. What's your name? I'm Harry, but I go by Papa H. Okay. Yeah. Can I call you Harry? Uh, it kind of <laughs> makes me feel uncomfortable, but I prefer Papa H, to All be right. honest. Uh, He's been saying it the whole time. I've been trying to call him Harry. To, I, I don't really... I call you Papa, man. You know? Oh, really? Yeah, it's like... <laughs> how about uh, H? H work? Yeah, what about... Oh, yeah, what yeah, about yeah. <laughs> if you, how about, how about if, we get, if you get to know me a little more? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. might... What's it might. Logan. Logan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because we infiltrated the same cult in California, we know that every Friday night, the cult is open to the public, and that's kind of the recruiting night to try and recruit people. But for some reason, it seemed like they didn't want us there. Well, um, you know, it, so yeah, tonight's Friday, so you know what it is? Then another guy comes out. Hey, I'm Bob. Bob? Bob. Uh, I'm Harry, but As we're talking to him, I mean, this guy hasn't heard my name yet, so it, it seems like he was a little bit more willing to accept us into their community. What we're hearing from our father, we... Oh, are you guys, like, all related? Your father as in... Well, <laughs> not like that. So. Yeah, I thought this was, like, a hotel or a resort or something. <laughs> it's a real thing. You know, uh... Do some people think it's, like, a fake thing, or...? Well, it's not everything everybody thinks. When they come, let's just say that. Then the original guy comes back again, and he seems pretty adamant that we should probably leave. Yeah, nothing personal. Are we interrupting right now? Is this like the... Oh, so no, this no, is you're the, fine. We're uh, glad you're playing. We're super excited. Uh, okay, this is normally the time that you'd come, like on a Friday afternoon. Yeah, that's yeah. so interesting. I've like never seen anything like this before. Yeah. Well, to be honest, there isn't anything like this. Yeah. It's really special. Yeah, at this point, it just really wouldn't... It, it's not a good time. Do you want to have, like, guests come? I was a guest 20 years ago. Yeah. And I was just a guest, showed up on a Friday night. 
You just came and never hey, left? maybe you will, you will uh, live here forever. But no. We were politely escorted out. Hey, are you going to, to, to like down the border, like a market or anything at all? Thank you so much! Hi, my name is Ben. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Ben, I love watching you mess up. But then out of nowhere, we got a text from this cult asking us to come back. Got a text that says Bob, Logan, and H. Imagine if we go there and they have like whole Midsommar crew there waiting to kill us. I was watching facial expressions. Maybe Danny's right. Maybe this whole thing is just a setup. But at this point, we're too deep into our investigation. We don't really have a choice. We have to go back. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? Where's Bob? Nailed it! Bob, I'm Nettable. Oh. Yeah, come on. We're so glad oh. you came back. It's kind of the beginning of all this time. It's a, it's a long story. We are uh, kind of uh, one year into our mission. So One year into the mission? Yeah. What's your mission? Mission, see this age come to an end. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's a big yeah, mission. Yeah, it's a big mission. So the creator, um, he gave to his people kind of a blueprint that would be um, how how to bring an end to humanity. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. He continued to talk about how they needed to recruit 144,000 virgins to complete their mission. And uh, I started to think to myself, like, hey, I mean, we know the best way to recruit a large group of people in a small amount of time. TikTok. But you guys never get a TikTok then to like, promote yourself then? Or? No, you know what I mean. And then I remembered, yeah, these guys don't know anything about technology. So I decided to tell them uh, the TikToks that my character Bob makes. Let me show you. Kids these days are being born a boy, but now they want to be called a girl. What the heck is that? Make sure to follow, like, retweet, subscribe, and share to all your friends for more facts. And also get a pair of these glasses because all the coolest kids are wearing them. People are being born a boy, but then they're being called a girl. You know what I mean? Because like people are doing that today. It's like weird. I'm like, we need to put an end to this. Kind of cautious. Jumping into different forms of media. He needs a little more convincing for the time being, so I'll just sell him on this idea later. So if you guys are wondering about the backstory we gave them of how we all met each other, we told them that I originally went to the Yellow Deli restaurant, the restaurant that they own, and then I just met these guys through like TikTok or whatever, and I invited them, and uh, we've already all met each other before, but they just don't remember me maybe. I think you might have met um, Bob. Bob. Yeah, I think so. Yep. I'm Bob talked to you guys, and then he, he invited us to come as well, and we're just re really happy to be here. I was just making up a lie, and the guy just agreed with me. Like, I don't know why he did that, but... You remember meeting me? Yes, I do. Oh, awesome. All you have to do is just say something that they want to hear, and they'll agree with you. All my other friends and stuff, they believe in, like, gay marriage and stuff. You it's don't like... believe in gay marriage? So do you not, like, watch the news or anything? I don't know. I mean, I think people should be able to marry who they want, right? It goes back to what I guess marriage means, you know? We ran out of time talking about this because it's time to start worshiping Yahshua! So fun. Have a camera. That, that, that was not good. This guy is on to us now. Um, I'm gonna try as hard as I can to talk my way out of this. No, I'm making a, a sponsorship thing. It's called the Google Glass. Have you heard of them? Yeah. But yeah, check these out. I had an extra pair of glasses that looked very similar in my back pocket. And I did what magicians call a sleight of hand move. And I literally went like, zoop. <laughs> and he didn't even notice. I gave him the decoy pair of glasses. Oh, he's crazy. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they're clear. And the decoy pair of glasses, those glasses that like kind of light up and they, they do have electricity in them. So if he's like, why are there buttons and stuff on them? It's part of the sponsorship. They're like party glasses. That's what a strobe light too. Yeah, that's pretty good. They were lighting up. So one of the members I was sitting next to was like, oh, look at that. Oh, look at those. <laughs> look at those. 
Oh, yeah. He's a TikToker too. A lot of TikTokers use a lot of color. What catches me really off guard next is he still pretends like there's a camera in them, even though they're not camera glasses. Yeah, dude. What? Wait, looks like they got a camera. You turn on? Nah. He's like, hi, and he's waving yeah. literally where the camera would be. Even though there's not a hole for the camera, there's no indicator on these yeah. glasses that there would be a camera. So the only way that you would look at a pair of glasses like these and think that there's a camera there is if you've seen our videos before. <laughs> to me, that was a direct indicator of like, okay, this guy is 100% onto us. He knows who we are. He knows the glasses we use. And so I basically just take off running to the bathroom. And Dude, you left me like with the cult members by myself and I was so nervous. What are you guys doing? Bring us at the door. Bring us at the so nervous that Danny accidentally called me Ben again. It's funny. Everyone's been calling him, uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's a funny story. Like, people keep thinking Bob is Ben. It, it, it. So now, everyone is suspicious of us. So while I'm in the bathroom, I turn on the shower, so it sounds like I'm showering, and I just pull out my phone. I just start privating every single one of my YouTube videos because that's how we got caught in California. So I'm in the bathroom for a good hour just privating everything. Like, the cellular service was just horrible. I'm just trying to, like, not talk to him, stall, and you were taking freaking forever. You called Bob a different name before. Oh, uh, uh, but it was... It's a funny story because uh, we're caught and it's over for us because they know exactly what we're doing. The only thing is they don't have any proof now that my glasses are gone, my videos are taken down, so they know exactly what we're doing, but they don't have proof to kick us out. So, so if you want to find out what happens, then you'll just have to watch the next episode. And if you want to help fund these crazy projects, then subscribe to my Patreon. Every single penny we make goes back into the videos. And follow Danny Burke for his version. But for now, thanks to the Patreons. The support's growing every week. Eventually, we're going to be able to do super awesome stuff that'll make this Colorado infiltration look like nothing. So you got to come back for the next episode where it gets even crazier. And then the next episode after that gets even crazier than that one so so keep coming back and hit that subscribe button you were taking so long i was like what the, what is going on i did i thought you were like having like like bathroom issues i thought you had like massive diarrhea that day in particular actually i didn't have bathroom issues that day all right that's good that's good